I'm curious of your take on the, the growing, look, the, this isolationist wing of the GOP used to basically be Ron and Rand Paul. Um, it's bigger than that now. How much of it do you think is, is sort of genuine sort of um, leeriness of, of interventions because of Iraq and Afghanistan on the right? And how much of it do you think it's simply because Biden's a Democrat? Look, I think always you've always had on both sides uh, kind of the wings of each party an isolationist tendency. And I think that this um, war in particular, you're right, the polling is starting to show a lack of support. And I think that there are ways that you can address this. A lot of Republicans say, hey, we should be doing more on our own border, not the Ukraine-Russia border. My response to that is, hey, great powers can do both mm -hmm. things, but it is important to address our own border, to secure the border. That would take away one of the arguments Something else, that, and I hear from Alaskans all the time on this, we need to do a better job, the administration needs to do a better job of getting our European allies right. to pull their weight. As you know, Chuck, they've had a commitment to spend uh, at a minimum, and it should be a floor, not a ceiling, 2% of their GDP on defense. The vast majority of the NATO allies that we have don't right. do that. And I think that frustrates Americans where we see this huge conflict in the heart of Europe, and the Europeans aren't stepping up enough the way in which they need to. And I think pressing them to do more and having them do yeah. more can help push back against some of the doubts that are starting to spread across the country on Ukrainian support. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.